Students, this video contains Maxwell's inductance bridge. It is used to measure self-inductance of a given inductor. Students, we have been studied the basic bridge balance condition in previous videos. The basic AC bridge is like this and its balance condition is given as Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. If you replace these components Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 in basic bridge with this, then a new bridge circuit is formed like this, which is known as Maxwell's inductance bridge. Here this D be the detector. It is either a pair of headphone or null detector and this one be the AC source. This bridge is used to measure self-inductance L in terms of a standard inductance L2 and two resistances R3 and R4. In this circuit, L1 be the unknown inductance having resistance R1 and L2 be the variable standard inductance with fixed resistance R2. Small R2 be the variable resistance and R3 and R4 are the non-resistances. Now, if we compare the components of these bridges, then it is found that Z1 equal to R1 plus J omega L1, Z2 equal to small R2 plus R2 plus J omega L2, Z3 equal to R3 and Z4 equal to R4. For balanced bridge, Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. And therefore, by putting the values of these components from these relations, we have R1 plus J omega L1 into R4 equal to small R2 plus R2 plus J omega L2 into R3. By expanding this equation, we get R1 R4 plus J omega L1 R4 equal to small R2 R3 plus R2 R3 plus J omega L2 R3. By equating the real parts of this equation, we get R1 R4 equal to small R2 R3 plus R2 R3. Now if we make R1 be the subject of the formula, then we get R1 equal to R3 upon R4 into bracket small R2 plus R2, say equation 1. And then equating imaginary parts of this equation, we get J omega L1 R4 equal to J omega L2 R3. By cancelling J omega on both the sides, we have L1 R4 equal to L2 R3 or L1 equal to L2 into R3 upon R4, say equation 2. These two equations represent the two conditions of the bridge balance. These balance conditions cannot be satisfied independently of one another, but they are semi-independent. The bridge is balanced by varying L2 and one of the resistance R3 and R4. Alternatively, R3 and R4 can be kept constant and the resistance R2 can be varied. Thus, the value of inductance L1 can be determined by this equation when bridge is balanced. When bridge is balanced, the minimum sound is heard in the headphone or a maximum separation is obtained between the slits of a null detector. Now the parameters of the bridge. Here in this arm of the bridge, the inductance L1 is not pure, it is imperfect. Hence its internal resistance we have taken here as R1 in series. The parameters of the RL series connection are explained in previous video. So we will use this formula and derive the parameters for this bridge. First impedance angle theta. Using the general formula for RL series connection, we will write 10 theta equal to omega L1 upon R1. Substituting the values of R1 and L1 from these equations, we get 10 theta equal to omega L2 R3 upon R4 upon R3 upon R4 into small R2 plus R2. 
this R3 upon R4 cancel with this one and therefore 10 theta equal to omega L2 upon small r2 plus r2 and therefore theta equal to 10 inverse omega L2 upon small r2 plus r2. This is the equation for impedance angle. Now second power factor cos theta. For series R1 L1 connection power factor is defined as cos theta equal to R1 upon R1 plus j omega L1. Substituting the values of R1 and L1 from these equations, we have cos theta equal to this one. Taking R3 upon R4 common in denominator terms, we get cos theta equal to R3 upon R4 into R2 plus R2 upon R3 upon R4 into R2 plus R2 plus j omega L2. This R3 upon R4 and this R3 upon R4 cancelled. Therefore, we get cos theta equal to R2 plus R2 upon R2 plus R2 plus j omega L2. Now third quality factor Q. For series RL circuit, quality factor is written as Q equal to omega L1 upon R1. Putting the values of R1 and L1 from these equations, we have Q equal to omega L2 into R3 upon R4 upon R3 by R4 into R2 plus R2. This R3 upon R4 cancel with this one and therefore Q equal to omega L2 upon R2 plus R2. And fourth parameter is dissipation factor. For series RL circuit it is defined as DF equal to R1 upon omega L1 or DF equal to 1 upon Q. Therefore by substituting the values of R1 and L1 from these equations or by taking reciprocal of Q from these equations, we get dissipation factor and which is DF equal to R2 plus R2 upon omega L2. That's all. Students, in next video, we will discuss about Anderson's bridge.